Hey makers this is Truvin and welcome to another episode of Wednesday with Dex In this episode I am going to talk about all selected dex expression in detail Most of us have a confusion in between all versus all selected so I am going to cover that concept in detail throughout this session One more important announcement I launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform So if you wanted to be a part of my Instagram family do follow me on Instagram the Insta ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box So without wasting much time let's get started and explore all selected dex expression with me but before that here is an intro Here I am on my machine and here I have opened one Power BI desktop file. Here we are going to demonstrate all selected function in detail here. With that I will also show you the comparison of all versus all selected in detail as well. If you haven't watched my earlier video for all dex expression the link is available in the description box. Do visit that so you will get better idea with the comparison part. Otherwise I am going to give you high level overview here as well. So let's get started and talk more about that thing in detail. Here I have taken the example of one of the insurance company. These are the different insurance company and this is the total claim cost by company. And the total is 6630 at this moment. Now let's say for an example there are some scenario where we need to calculate the ratio meaning for DHL I just want to divide my total claim cost divided by the whole to cost meaning 15990 divided by 6630 and whatever the value that I am getting here I am showing that as a percentage over here so I have achieved this requirement with the help of all dex expression so basically for this particular total thing we have used all expression the beauty of all expression is that it removes all the filters that has been applied for that data set so we are getting the overall total for total claim cost over here but let's say for an example here you can see that even if i i apply any of the filter the total remains same it is not doing the total of this two delivery company and calculating the total over here so how can we achieve this kind of requirement for that we need to use all selected dex expression so what do we mean by all selected all selected dex expression remove all the filter from row and column but it keeps the filter outside of that particular visualization so let's talk more about that thing in detail first of all let me create a new measure for all selected i am creating a new measure total cost all selected calculate inside that sum of total cost claim cost then in filter let's apply all selected so here one clear description has been written written all the rows in table or all the values in column ignoring any filter that might have been applied inside the query but keeping filters that come from outside for any new beginner it's confusing statement so let me explain you in very easy word but before that let's just complete our all selected dex expression so i'm just applying all selected and inside that we just need to provide table name or column name so let's just apply our table name that is sheet 1 right and now let's just complete this thing and apply the measure and now let's just add this measure into this table total cost all selected so this is the result for all function and this is the result for all selected function now what is the difference in between then let's see as per the syntax statement it is removing all the filters from rows and columns meaning this is our table and it remove those filter that is absolutely correct but it keeps the filter outside from the table meaning let's say for an example i am just applying a filter over here on delivery company 
So you can see here this total is being changed here meaning explicit filter has been applied but row and color filter is not applied. In all function we are getting the summation of all four companies even though I applied filter meaning any filter effect doesn't applied on the all function but all selected is taking effect from the explicit filter that has been applied here. So this is something which will help you when you wanted to show and calculate the dynamic percentage which has been selected from our drop down right because here you can see that I have selected four companies so it is going me total like this but I am selecting three one it is giving me total like this and now if I wanted to calculate my percentage like for DHL 15990 divided by 53560 which is calculated with respect to these three selected companies and this is something which is helpful in some of the business scenarios right so basically all function remove all the filter but all selected is applying explicit filter from your report page hope this concept is helpful to you if you have any question or any suggestion feel free to add your question or suggestion in the comment section Please add in next session what next expression you wanted to cover me. I will happy to cover that next expression for you. If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I am uploading regular content related Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe so you will never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any consultancy here is the website click on that go to the it will open you to this page go to the contact page and send me your query over there. If you are wanted to follow me on all my social media handles here is the link to URL click on that it will redirecting you to this page from here you can follow me on all my social media handles. If you are wanted to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram here are the links. I would recommend everyone to follow me on my Instagram because Instagram is a platform where I am uploading different short videos related power platform. Here I am uploading different posts, different reels, different behind the scenes and so many cool stuff. So make sure that you follow me on my Instagram. The Instagram ID is very simple which is power platform guy. Just copy this and search in the Instagram ID and you are good to go. If you are interested for different power platform related audio podcast. This is the audiogram link just click on that you will be redirected to this page over here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on different podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more. If you are interested for different short videos related power platform here is a separate channel called digital Thruvin. subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well. This is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye.